To edit an existing staff member, you simply need to double click on their name or Control o on the keyboard, or you can use the open icon at the top of the window. On the Staff Details tab for this user, we can see they're a provider and a service provider. We have all the relevant contact information, so name and address, and we can also see the employment dates as well. Access tab shows the access for the provider. Now coming across to the Provider tab, under the Provider tab we can select the location that the provider belongs to. Most practices will only have one option, some may have multiple. On the right you can enter the qualifications that will print out on some of the forms. The external name is where you would enter a formal name, as this is going to show on letters that are going out from the practice. So it would be the formal name for the provider. The sequence number is where you would put the number that you want the provider to appear in in any drop down list. So for example in the invoice and appointment screens you have a drop down where you see provider names and you just need to select a sequence number for what order you want them to go in. A handy tip is to put for example all of your doctors as number five and they will show grouped together and listed in alphabetical order and then you can give your nurses a sequence of the number 10 and they would come next in the list grouped together in alphabetical order. If you want the provider to have an appointment book then you need to have appointment book ticked and then this template for the provider will need to be set up via setup appointments and template so you'll need to firstly tick the appointment book and then set up the times that you want the doctor to have appointments for. Autogen. This will provide users with the ability to enable the automatic generation of appointment book templates. So once you've set up your appointment book, if you have Autogen ticked, it will automatically renew the template. You can set the doctor up to be a locum for another doctor by putting a tick in locum and then selecting who you would like the doctor to be a locum to. Affiliations. So this is where you can enter the affiliation for the provider, so whether it be New Zealand Medical Council or nursing, you put the affiliation in here and then you can choose your specialty in the next box, so GP. If either of the affiliation or specialty isn't showing, you can just manually add it in there. And this connects with the access tab, so when you have the option for daily record access on affiliation, this is where it's pulling the affiliation from. In the codes and references you will find that some of the numbers are historical, so they're not often used or they're not used by all practices. The ACC number is what the individual provider gets from ACC. So this is necessary for doctors to claim and generate ACC 45s. So you may have some nurses that are approved by ACC to claim and their number would go in here as well. And that's the same for any physios and other allied health providers with the ACC. ACC vendor ID, this isn't always used by providers but it can be obtained from ACC and it would just go in this field here. Now the pin pan number, that is something that you would get from the Ministry of Health, however that's not really used anymore at all. The registration number is very important for providers, so this is a doctor's NZMC number or nurse's registration number or it could be an allied health practitioner's registration number. So claims will be rejected if this number is not entered, so it needs to be entered in this field. Lab number, this is where you enter the number allocated to you by the lab. So all practices in New Zealand would be using this field. Practices within Auckland, they can use the lab test doctor ID field. So that's just for practices within the Auckland area for their lab test number. Inbox 2 gives you the option to forward this provider's inbox onto another doctor. So that would only really be used if this doctor was going away and you wanted to forward all incoming results and documents onto a different doctor. You would select a different provider from the drop down and that would then forward it onto them. The agreement and P numbers are for maternity and IMS and GMS claiming. So these can be obtained from Healthpack and from your PHO and these are all necessary for the electronic claiming process so if these aren't entered then your claims aren't going to go through successfully. The ACC provider code is used to determine the ACC class so this is really important for physios they need to have physio entered in this field. 
and the health facility number is in regards to the WINS web form. So for the doctor's information to populate into the web form, you need to have that number entered here.